I just got finished spending a lot of time on the phone with old Jason F. Ford. And, um, you know, it's, it's no secret I've been gone for over a week. And I get back, and, of course, after talking with, with Brother Joe, I, I get caught up on the news. I get informed um, uh, about, because I ask him a lot of questions. What's happening here? What's happening there? What's happening here? What happened there? And I tell you, it's just literally appalling what's going on. Not only in this country, but in other countries, they are trying to jack their citizenry and trying to get them and, and trying to finagle them through the politicians to get out of their savings. You know, it's, it's no secret that over in India, they have some of the greatest reserves concerning savings of physical, tangible assets, i.e. gold and silver. India does. India does. Then all the known countries in the world, with exception of maybe China, right behind them, and the politicians go there is trying to get these people to get out of their savings and trying to get them into a stock market. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Kind of like CS and NBC and all the rest of these brokerage firms and stuff. That's one reason why they call brokerage because they're broke, and they will really be broke if you didn't participate. Um, but trying to get the people to, you know, finagle them out of their money, deceiving them. And that's why I keep telling you people, you can't do the same things you've always done and expect change. You can't even listen to the, the same people you've always listened to and expect change because you're not going to change if you continually keep waiting on that source of change's doctrine, its perspective on life and everything. They're not going to do it. Just this year, you remember what the United States government did, right? They shut down the mining of silver the last few days of the physical year of 2012. And then they waited just somewhere along about January the 7th. That's all right, but guess what? And they're smashing the markets again. I mean, we're still looking at a 53 to 1 ratio from gold to silver, which is pathetic. Um, and I mean, silver should be somewhere along about $200 an ounce right now. But don't worry, it's getting there. It's going to go there. That's why it's a firestorm right now to buy this at $30 an ounce, considering it's going to $200. But, um, you know, no soon as the mint and everything opened, old Joe told me, he said, Pastor, I want you to listen to this. He says, this year, as broke as we are as a country, I put that in there. Then the first day, the greatest record sales of Silver Eagles that has ever been this year, 2013, opening day on record. Well over 1 million more eagles were sold. First day, 2013. And then the next day, 300,000. Just like that. So, regardless of what these TV liars, the news media, so-called business people are saying, the people ain't playing the game no more. Nobody's playing the game. They're, they're looking at this thing. And it's voices like Jake Smith Bourne, voices like me, voices like uh, SGT, voices like um, Silver Eagle, Silver Bullion, Silver Shield, just all these other people who are in the know, Max Kaiser and all these people. It's voices like that that let the people, you know what? We ain't playing your game no more. You're raping us, you're robbing us, you're murdering us, you're killing us, you're pillaging us. Um, we're, we're, we're tired of participating in legalized extortion through high and heavy taxation without representation. We ain't playing the game no more. Oh, and let me send a shout out to Alex Jones, how he handled Pierce Morgan at CNN. Alex Jones, very good job. Still don't know why you don't tell the truth about Israel, but very good job. It's just like anything. I guess everybody's not going to agree on all points, but very good job. But anyway, well over a million eagles. People, there is a growing sentiment in the American public of people waking up. Now, on the issue of guns, huh? come to find out that Bank of America is now freezing the assets of people, impelling them, impairing them, excuse me, from the ability to be able to purchase guns. Why? Because what was that statement that Joe told me this lady said? They called up, they said, they said that you should not be selling guns and gun parts on the internet at Bank of America. Can you believe? And that's why they're re freezing people assets. You people, you better get out of Bank of America. Make moves. Get out of Bank of America. I'm telling you, 
Bank of America, they're no different than Goldman Sachs and J.D. Morgan Chase. They ain't no different. You know what? The one thing I like about it is, is that people are waking up. People are waking up. Beautiful thing, isn't it? Lord to the king. Hey, just thought I'd come in here and inform you. Go out and buy some gold and buy some silver and preserve your dinner table. As well as, listen to me very close. This is the best hedge against inflation that there ever has been and ever will be. So as you keep seeing your phony fiat currency called dollars continue to keep being devalued every single day and your purchasing power is all about but just no kneeling. Boy, you can't even buy. I think for every dollar you're getting like 50 cent on the dollar as far as uh, the goods and the services that you're able to purchase. But you know what? This hedge right here keeps on going up. And up, and up, and up, and up. Sure does make you happy when you know what you're talking about and you're informed. You can't expect the people out there in the news media to, to ever say, you know what? Or the politicians say, you know what? The truth is, for the last 6,000 years, silver's always been money. And we actually deceived the people years ago to get them off of the gold and silver standard, which the Constitution of the United States of America says that it is the only legal tender um, and only money that there is. So we've done a good job at deceiving people. We repent. We're sorry. We're going to tell you the truth from this point now on. Do you really truly believe that that's going to happen? Nah. Nah, I don't think so.